welcome back to my channel flower takes on korea today i'm going to be visiting one of the most famous and popular museums in seoul this is a contemporary history museum and it is situated right next to the american embassy and yeah it's the first time that i'm going to go and visit so i'm very excited and yeah i hope you are looking forward to this tour So I have just arrived in the main special exhibition zone um, and this is the current exhibition that's on. It's called People in Numbers and it basically is a exhibition all about the South Korean population which is really really interesting for me um, and for others that might live here because Korea is currently going through a serious decline in their population. In fact Korea has one of the lowest birth rates in the world to date. Um, and so I think this is going to be a very interesting exhibition that kind of looks at population and where Korea was and where it currently is now. So yeah, let's go and have a look. And this exhibition is on until November 21st. So yeah, if you are interested in population and demographics in South Korea, then um, I highly recommend that you yeah come and check out this exhibition. Let's go! So this section that I'm now in is talking all about the spike uh, in population that happened in 1961 and the government's effort to create family planning campaigns um, in order to yeah, kind of regulate population growth in South Korea. Um, so yeah, let's have a look and see what they say about this. So another major issue that South Korea is currently facing is the fact that so many Korean women are not wanting to get married and remain single and not have babies and this has a large, um, yeah, this has had a massive impact on the, on the population and why South Korea is currently going through this population crisis um, and as a female expat in South Korea it's kind of no surprise to me why so many Korean women are choosing not to get married and choosing not to have babies. Um, that, is a, that is a story for a different vlog, um, but yeah, so this area that I'm in now is basically talking about this very uh, large developing population of South Korean people that are wanting to stay single and not get married. So it's kind of interesting um, to see um, and there's a lot of information about, you know, how, um, you know, how many South Korean females don't want to get married and how many South Korean men are not wanting to get married. Um, so yeah. So this part of the exhibition is really, really interesting for me as a um, foreign wife in South Korea with a Korean husband. It's really, really interesting to see the statistics um, and the questions. So basically this zone asks you questions. So you can come here and you can see she's dispensing cups and then you can actually take those cups and put it on the table behind me over there and it asks a bunch of questions and the questions are all about um, how do you feel about international marriages and that kind of thing. So it's really, really interesting. So the zone I am in now is talking all about contraception and um, the fact that Korea favored having, you know, um, male babies over female babies. And this is kind of a general problem in Asia. I'm sure everybody's aware of what happened in China. And so the same kind of thing happened in Korea, where um, the abortion of girl fetuses was very, very common um, back in the 1960s um, because boys were favored. Uh, it's kind girl. of ironic, you know, back in the day, they really didn't want females, they wanted males. And now Korea is kind of suffering the consequences of, um, you know, making those decisions. So yes, it's going to be very interesting to see where Korea goes in the years that follow um, if they don't manage to sort out their birth rate. Okay, let's go on to the next exhibition in this amazing museum. Let's go! So I have just arrived in one of the other main zones uh, in the museum and this is an interactive zone and it also, uh, yeah, it's basically an interactive zone of the history of South Korea. So let's go have a look. You also need this card, ta-da, which they will give you and then you can tap it on all the different um, displays and yeah, you can basically play around and yeah, find out more about South Korea. Let's go.
So the current zone I am in um, is really, really interesting. They have basically um, interviewed 10 Koreans <laughs> um, when they were 20 years old, but through different time periods, different years, and um, looking at their opinions of Korean life and life and how different it is from today. And I think this is really interesting because for those of you that don't know, Korea suffered majorly 60, 70 years ago. Korea had nothing. And it's insane to see how much the country has developed now. Um, and obviously the lives that 20 year olds live now, the millennials, live a very different life to those of their grandparents 60, 70 years ago. Um, I feel that the young generation are very, very spoiled in Korea, to be honest. They don't have to work um, nearly as hard as their grandparents did, you know, that had to do a lot of manual labor, farming, you know, literally to build the economy. So yeah, this exhibition is looking at that, which I find very, very interesting. So the next zone I am looking at is the health zone and it basically looks at health over the years in South Korea. So from when Korea started developing till now. And as a South African in South Korea, I can tell you right now that the health system is amazing here. Um, compared to back home, I am very, very grateful to be in South Korea where the government health system is so fantastic. Um, and this is a really cool exhibition over here. You can basically click the different um, cards and it will tell you information. Um, and obviously COVID has been brought up because COVID is something that has heavily impacted on South Korea in the last two years. Um, so they talk about that as well. Um, I'm fully vaccinated. Thank you, South Korea. <laughs> um, I have received my two Pfizer shots already um, and I feel very, very lucky to have received them because a lot of people haven't had their shots yet. This is a very, very interesting display and um, a very good reminder <laughs> to all of us um, of, yeah, like, this time in our lives where you know we impacted by corona i think it's a time that we will we will never ever forget <laughs> so i have come to the end of my tour inside the museum um sadly they close at 6 p.m so i wasn't able to get to all the different areas um but yeah the two that i did see were really really interesting so I highly recommend if you are planning on coming to the museum, you definitely check out the special exhibition, which is all about the population in South Korea. And then also the other interactive zone, which looks at um, all the different areas of life in South Korea through the ages, which is also really interesting, um, especially because Korea has truly progressed so much um, in the last 60 years. And I think if uh, yeah, other countries can learn anything, it really is that um, you know development is possible um, through the right mindset and, you know, um, kind of a group effort, community effort. Um, and as a South African in South Korea, that is something I really admire about South Korea um, is, you know, the, the sense of community and working together. So yeah, this is the museum. Ta -da! And yeah, I would really recommend coming here. Um, it's really nice inside. The staff are really, really friendly. Um, and yeah, you even get to keep the card. I tried to give it back to the ladies and they're like, no, it's a souvenir. So I was like, Tebak, cool. So yeah, you get to keep the little interactive card that you will get if you go to floor number three for the interactive zone. So yeah, I'd love to hear your guys' opinions, um, you know, on some of the content that I covered in this video. Let me know your thoughts on the population. Let me know your thoughts on the health system in Korea or, you know, where you think that Korea needs to improve. Um, because yeah, I know, I know a lot of people feel that Korea also has a long way to go uh, with regards to social issues. Uh, so yeah. And if you found this video interesting, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Um, I really enjoy hearing people's feedback, um, especially opinions of other foreigners in South Korea and how they're finding their life. So yeah, 감사합니다. 안녕하세요. Bye.